Today we are reviewing another trail running shoe and this is for Solomon. This is Solomon Cross Pro. Let's go. I'ma make a couple stacks, do exactly what I want to. Mix a couple tracks, get a lady that I'm drawn to. Turn up to the max, get me faded till I'm gone, dude. I do what I want, couldn't stop me if you wanted to. I just work hard, yeah, harder than the rest. Some people say I'm lucky, others saying that I'm blessed. But I keep my head down, cause I crave progress. You ain't never gonna stop me, cause it's my car. Alright, good afternoon guys, this is your boy Ken again, your simple runner, and we're out here outdoor to review another trail running uh, shoe. But before we do so, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, you know what to do. Please do subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified on every videos that I make for you guys. And thank you for helping me out, you're awesome. Alright, so talking about trail, yeah, I've been engaged to trail lately, I've been doing some trail running. Uh, short and long distance as well uh, yeah it's good to do outdoors especially trail because of this pandemic so you want to avoid uh, running or bumping into other people so just go out to the mountains or to any trails that you know that there are some less people so that what that's what I've been doing actually lately and yeah it's great to you know go outdoor Now let's review this shoe, the Cross Pro by Salomon. Just to give you a, a bit of background, if you're familiar with Speed Cross series of Salomon, I believe this was derived from that series. So the newest one for Speed Cross is Speed Cross 5. So I was able to experience that shoe as well. However, I decided to get the uh, Cross Pro because this is something new and this is the Pro version according to the salesperson. And well, honestly, looking at this shoe, it really looks like the Speed Cross series, but it's on a higher level. Well, I'll give you my thoughts on this. Now, before we move on, just to let you know, uh, this was not sponsored shoe. Solomon did not give me this shoe to review or pay me anything. I just paid it on my own money. So no sponsorship, all right? now. Technical wise, upper is made out of a neat material, a very thick neat material overlaid with a mesh. Here's the mesh overlay. So this mesh really tight up, uh, I mean, uh, give a full hug on your foot once you tried it. That's the first experience I had on this shoe. I find it a little bit snug at first. So when I tried it, just because of the uh, matrix system that they have on the upper they're calling it the matrix system actually with the knit material and the mesh overlay which really hug the your foot and the booty type that's their matrix upper as they call it and of course they have the quick lay system here so you can quickly lace up no hassle there and heel counter it's a booty construction easy slip in so I had no problems with this it's actually great to have this. Um, for the midsole, it is made out of the energy cell. Um, if you're familiar with the other Solomon shoes, most of the shoes are made out of the energy cell. So it's kind of EVA foam still, but it's more dense. Now, this shoe doesn't have the profile film just like the S Lab series has, but with the density of the EVA foam or the energy cell, uh, it performs well actually. So what I'm talking about is when you go to technical routes or technical areas, you don't really feel those pointy stones as well on this shoe. It's just like the, the one that I had, the Salomon s Lab Sense 8, which has the profile film. So kind of, you know, uh, performs the same, I would say. Now on the outsole, you have here a very aggressive outsole. So. It's a multi-directional outsole, 6mm lugs, so you can go lateral or forward on this shoe and you won't have any problem. Now the 6mm uh, lugs right there, it is intentionally made for muddy terrains, so it really has a grip on the ground. And with their Contra Grip technology for the rubber, it is really sticky wherever your, your pavement is. So 
so you don't have any problem with you know slippage on this shoe all right so now this shoe comes with eight millimeter drop fairly lightweight as well goes to 10 ounces and I kind of find this really fast and lightweight this is something for trail running elites or trail runners in general so I love this shoe um, just because of its weight and its grip on the ground now let me talk about my drawbacks on this shoe I did mention earlier that when I first tried it it's really uh, snug so yeah I gave you already my negatives on that uh, sense so it is really snug and for the toe box it doesn't really have rooms on your toes I kind of find my pink toe uh, cramped up like this it really hurts so that's the reason why I did not continue off about eight miles on this shoe and I, I did stop I didn't really want to run on this shoe just because of that um, problem so it's really snug and doesn't have any rooms uh, for the toes so that was the biggest problem uh, any shoe that has no rooms for your toe box uh, it's kind of negative for me yep that's my drawback now on the plus side on this shoe of course this is a very durable shoe lightweight fast it's for uh, fast trail runners or elite trail runners I would say um, I think this would last long as well if you want to invest for a shoe that would really last long go for this kind of shoes now by the uh, now I did forget to mention earlier that the upper is really breathable and a little bit uh, thick although you would think that it's a neat material but it is water repellent guys so I tried uh, you know crossing on the river with this shoe it doesn't really retain the moisture inside or the the water per se inside the shoe it brings out so just like the upper for the uh, Solomon Sense 8 once you're up on the ground you would not you know feel heavy on this shoe just like any other uh, trail running shoes out there I love this shoe if I'm a narrow foot runner or trail runner or hiker maybe but that's a problem it's not a not for uh, wide foot runners so I might you know see other options out there for me but anyway uh, that is my thoughts and two cents about this shoe I, I love the colorway it's lightweight durable and fast and yeah that is my uh, review on this shoe thank you so much again for watching peace out stay healthy stay safe let's go I'ma make a couple stacks, do exactly what I want to Mix a couple tracks, get a lady that I'm drawn to Turn up to the max, get me faded till I'm gone, dude I do what I want, couldn't stop me if you wanted to I just work hard, yeah, harder than the rest Some people say I'm lucky